Hi, I just want to tell you a little bit about how Family Table Time actually got started. Back in 1999, we had four children, Caitlin who was 10, Maggie was 8, Kyle was 7, and Jimmy was 5. So we had four kids between 5 and 10. And we were being we were very successful. And Neil was offered an, an opportunity to move our family from Chicago to go to Connecticut. So we get this opportunity to move, and it's Neil's job, and they tell him he's going to be in international sales. And they said he'd probably have about 50% travel. Well, I have learned, and if anybody else has been in this situation, if you have 50%, add on another 20%. And it ends up being that Neil was either gone mentally or physically about 80% of the time. And what kind of hit us was probably about six months into Neil's new job when we moved to Connecticut, that he noticed it more than I did, that he was gone like I said, 80% of the time, but I was still going on with all the activities that the kids had to do. We had every sporting event you can think of. We tried to limit it so the kids had one or two things that they were involved in, but still think about it. With four kids, we were going all the time. So Neil would come back and it was almost like we were this freight train going straight ahead and Neil would come back and we were just saying, come on, just join in. Never even clicked with me that he was feeling he wasn't part of the family. So we came together, Neil and I, and said, you know, this is really not what we thought family was supposed to be. So we came together and said, what is missing, the most important thing that we both valued growing up and that we really weren't giving our kids? And it was that time around the dinner table. So we stopped and said, you know, let's make that very important for our family. And then we decided to add something else to, to it, which was to say, let's have a weekly family meeting. But we thought this would be a great venue to find out what all the kids were doing and have them get some little one-on-one -on -one time or let them feel like they had the floor to tell us what you know, was going on in their life. So we decided to have a family meeting once a week after this special dinner. And we wanted to have as many dinners together as possible, or meals, but once a week have a family meeting. So anyway, we get the kids together, and it happened to be in a 15-hour car ride. We were going back to Chicago to see some friends, tie in a little business, and drove the kids 15 hours in a car. You can all relate. And it was in this car that we ride that we decided to say, guys, we want to tell you about this great idea we're going to have. We're going to come together once a week after a dinner, family meal, and we're going to have a family meeting. And we explained the idea to them. We, we outlined how the family meeting would work. And each week, one child, one family member would be the leader. And we explained the whole idea of the family meeting. And afterwards, we would, we would just play a game or do something together as a family. Well, it was Caitlin who was 10 years at the time, 10 years old at the time, and she said, Mom, you know how Thanksgiving we have this special tablecloth where we write down what we're, we remember from that past year? Why don't we create something that we could write down a memory uh, of what's happened to us that week? So we thought, what a great idea. What happened to us is we get to Chicago, where we, we used to live, as I said, for five years, and our first night out, we decide to have dinner with some old friends, even our former pastor of our church. And we're sitting around the table, and we just happened to mention this idea. And I'm telling you, it was like deer in headlights. These guys looked at us and go, we need this. We want this. And within a week's notice, we were there for a week, our pastor said, you know, I know at least 70% of the families I deal with would just love and need this idea. Why don't you create, you know, you have a trust bank here. Why don't you bring some people here together to try and test this idea out? So that's all we needed to know. We brought these families in. We said, we want you for 45 minutes. And we took the kids off to the side and we gave them this huge sheet of butcher block paper and we asked them to write down their family, favorite family activities. And we kept the parents and we said, look, this is what we wanted to do. We want to see if you will commit to having at least one meal together each week. And if you could do that, then we want you to have a weekly family meeting following that, one time. And then we talked to them about how to do our family meeting. And every time... We, we talked to these guys, we laid it all out, and each one of the family members said that they would do it. We went back home and we shared this idea or started this the whole process with our family back in Connecticut. And I gotta tell you, our family went from a level, if you wanna do levels one, to a level 10, just by committing to one day a week at the dinner table. And you know what, once we found out that we did it once, everybody wanted to come to the table every night. So our dinner table became so much more of an important place for our family. We would have our leader, we'd go through our family meeting, and everybody would be on board.